Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Monday morning, Labor Day. And by the time you see this, Labor Day will be over. Uh, but it's uh, just before 9 o'clock in the morning and Gypsy and I are sitting here at the back of the yard. Or back of the garage looking out to the yard. Um, I like to get her, if I know it's going to be like super hot, I like to get her out for a little while at least before it gets too hot for her. She is not a summer... Uh, doggy <laughs> she doesn't like the heat at all um, so so yeah it's still nice enough right now where we could sit back here feel the breeze it's like 72 73 degrees but the humidity is climbing fast so it's starting to get a little muggy sticky um, but there is a nice breeze coming through that's the nice thing about this garage which we love is where we sit at the back door of the garage and then there's the obviously the front door we get a nice cross breeze through here so so yeah we love that so we just sit here and just kind of just take in the morning the beauty of the yard and the birds and everything that comes through the squirrels the chipmunks everything so we usually just sit out here for a couple hours and then we go about our day because it starts getting warm at that point and it is going to start getting warm real soon and it's going to start feeling more and more sticky so uh, at that time I'll go in the house <laughs> um, but I at least like to get my little uh, time here outside with the backyard and uh, have Gypsy by my side she's right here she's looking for her friend Chippy and uh, yeah so that's all we're doing right now so yesterday I, we actually came out earlier and then Glenn came out and all three of us just were here. Gypsy laying between us um, in the middle and yeah, she just went and laid down right now looking outside the backyard. So she's my bird watcher too. So <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's on the agenda for today. Oh, I... Well, by the time you see this, you're already seeing the meal plan, but last night um, I worked on the meal plan for September, so I'll get that video out. And like I said, by the time you see this video, you will already see the video with the meal plan. But uh, yeah, not much going on. So it's just the way we like it, our quiet, peaceful life. Um, I guess some say boring, and I might have even used that term before, but you know what? It's it's a peaceful life, it's quiet, just the way we like it. So I'm going to go about my morning, uh, just looking out to the backyard. I don't know if you could hear that blue jay in the background, but the moon is, uh, you could still see... You could still see the moon very clearly up in the sky there. It's a, almost just to a half moon. It's between half and three quarter moon now. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you haven't visited my Wisconsin Backyard Birding channel, do so this morning. I uploaded. And again, by the time you see this video, you will probably already have seen that. I uploaded a four hour bird video. Um, that's what I've been working on on that channel is my videos are going to be quite long on that channel um, for the purpose of you know cats watching bird uh, dogs watching people watching and it's just a continual playing for four hours so um, eventually I'll get them up to like eight hours um, but it takes a lot of work um, to put all that video together and then it took like the entire day, almost 24 hours to get it uploaded to YouTube. So uh, I won't be uploading uh, bird videos as often. I'm going to work towards two to three a week. And um, but they are going to be long. So it's going to you can continuously just leave it playing and they'll have bird sounds to it. Some will have like music to slow motion video. So I'm working on, you know, that kind of stuff for that channel. But anyway, I'm going to go about my uh, beautiful morning here. I hope you're all having a beautiful morning. And 
yeah, enjoy your day. Gypsy, Gypsy, can you say good morning? No, she's too busy looking for Chippy <laughs> and the little red squirrel that comes around. There's the moon right there. Look at that beautiful blue sky. And this is what we just like to sit here and enjoy the view of and listen to the birds in the background. Okay, everyone, so it's 11.07 in the morning, and Gypsy and I are back in the house already. Uh, we stayed out there a couple hours, but it is hot now. Uh, I'm glad we went out when we did because it got hot really fast and muggy. Uh, the roof fill is like 92 right now, and the dew point is 70, which makes it really close and sticky and muggy. So uh, Gypsy was getting a little uh, antsy, so... And so was I, honestly. I could tell it was getting warmer out. So we're back in the house. And as you can see, I usually make the bacon in the oven, but there's no way I'm turning the oven on today. Um, so I'm making bacon on the stovetop as well as hash browns. And I'm going to crack up some eggs right now. Um, I'm going to make some breakfast burritos for us. Glenn is in the trailer staying cool with the AC on in there. Uh, I turned the AC on first thing this morning. I usually turn it off at night before we go to bed so it starts fresh again in the morning. So, yeah. Um, but I've got fans going on. It's, it's hot. So this is supposed to be the last extremely hot day. and But we still have mid to high 80s tomorrow, which will probably be hot as well. <laughs> but after this heat spell... Our temperatures start falling into like fall-like temperatures, which makes me very happy, which makes Glenn not so happy. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to get to cracking the eggs and we're going to have some breakfast burritos. Time to switch over to a spoon.
All right, everyone. So it is time to share the September meal plan with you. I did make one, um, but not till after we started the month. So uh, starting on Friday the 1st, I have no idea what we ate. Uh, I apologize. That was just a notification on my phone. Um, yeah, I have no idea what we ate on Friday. I know I made something. I just don't remember what. So that short-term memory must come in with older age now. <laughs> so Saturday and Sunday, which was the second and third, that's when I made that slow cooker beef stew. And anything highlighted in yellow is something uh, that I've already made. So I made the beef stew. And then Monday the 4th, which is today, and I'm making that ground beef with rice and uh, bell peppers with some corn. So I already highlighted it, but that's what we're having. All right, and then we go on to Tuesday. I'll be making a pot of beans, and in that pot of beans, I'll be making some chato beans for Glenn. Uh, chato beans is, chato is basically uh, Spanish for cowboy, so cowboy beans. And we'll also be eating beans on Wednesday. So I don't eat the chato beans, but what I do is refry some, and I'll just make myself like bean and cheese tacos or bean and cheese burritos, something like that. So that's what I'll be having. And then Thursday, I have cornflake coated chicken. I believe we have some chicken breast or it'll be chicken thighs, one of the two. Friday, we'll be uh, having the country style ribs. And then Saturday, I have tacos. Going on to Sunday the 10th, I have that turkey dinner that we never did in uh, uh, August. So we'll be having a whole turkey dinner. And then when I say a whole turkey dinner, kind of like it was Thanksgiving dinner. And then Tuesday the 12th, I'll be making a sombrero salad. And I don't know if we'll have leftovers or not. If we do, we might just eat it for lunch. And then that Wednesday, I'll just make some sub sandwiches. And then that Thursday, the 14th, we'll just do some, uh, since I bought all those brats when they were on sale, we'll just do some beer brats and burgers. And Friday, I have a fish fry. I'll have to buy some fish. Uh, most likely, it'll be like a cod or something like that, a thick, solid white fish, uh, the meat. And then I'm looking at a taco pizza for that Saturday. Sunday, I'm doing cabbage and chopped meat. We're down to the 17th now. And basically, that's cabbage and the loose ground beef. And then it's got onions. And then we have leftovers for the Monday. Tuesday, the 19th, I have a slow cooker ravioli lasagna. I made this a long time ago. Back, I think, even when I fir first started the channel. I made this and we have some packs of good sized ravioli in the freezer that we got from the pantry. So I wanna use that up. I don't know if it'll be a slow cooker or in just the eight by eight casserole dish. So, but we will have a ravioli lasagna and then leftovers for the next day. And then since we didn't do broccoli beef in August, I've got that down for September with leftovers following on that Friday. Saturday the 23rd. Now I haven't done this in a while, probably since the holidays. Sometimes I just like to have an appetizer day where I make some app different appetizers and we just eat that throughout the day and that's what we have. So I'm looking to do something like um, meatballs in the slow cooker with some uh, chili sauce and grape jelly um, my crab flake spread where I, uh, mix it with, um, what is that, uh, <laughs> sauce, whatever that seafood sauce is, um, and then spread it over uh, cream cheese on a rich cracker. Also, I thought about making a taco dip and I'll see what else Glenn would like to have for appetizers. So I'm looking at an appetizer day later on in the month. And then on the 24th, uh, since we have those chuck roasts that I got on sale, I think we'll be doing open face sandwiches again. Uh, we had it once 
in September, earlier September, or August, I'm sorry, August, and they were so good. We were looking for leftovers, but we didn't have any. So I've got that at the end of the, during the last week of September, and then leftovers the next day. Uh, Tuesday the 26th, I've got a sheet pan recipe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I've never done a sheet pan meal, so I'm looking to do a sheet pan recipe. And then I've got chicken tostadas with leftovers the next day. I've got sloppy joes and chicken pot pie to end the month. So that is September's meal plan. And of course, this is just um, to help us stay on track. It doesn't mean I have to make that certain food on that day. I might switch them up, but this is just to, you know, just give us give us some ideas of what we're going to have during the month. So, and I like to do it during, for the whole month because if we, whatever day we land on, I already know what we're having. So I can prepare for that in my weekly shopping and buy whatever I need for the week's meals. So, all right. So that's September's meal plan and let's move on with the video. Alrighty everyone, so I am making supper now. It's Monday evening and all I'm going to make, because I got some white rice going as well and I'm sauteing these uh, bell peppers and I'm just going to fry up some loose ground beef and mix it up with the white rice and the bell peppers and that's going to be a simple meal on this warm day. Okay, so here is our main course for supper. It's uh, loose ground beef with white rice and bell peppers and I'm going to warm up a can of corn to have that on the side and we'll also have a little bit of jello. Alright everyone so here is our supper for this Monday night and it is hot in the kitchen. I didn't think it was going to be this hot because I didn't turn the oven on but <laughs> Uh, turning on the stove was hot enough. It is scorching in here. I am going to sit in front of a fan to eat. So we have our loose ground beef with white rice and orange and red bell peppers. I warmed up some corn and we have some lime flavored jello. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I truly appreciate all the support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime or a penny even. And it helps me out a lot with the channel. So also, if you haven't visited my other channel, Wisconsin Backyard Birding, please check that out and subscribe over there. If you like nature and birds, uh, that's all you're going to see over there. So, all right. So with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.